Daily readings for December 18th. Our first reading is from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 23. I will raise a virtuous branch for David. See, the days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks. When I will raise a virtuous branch for David, who will reign as true king and be wise, practicing honesty and integrity in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel dwell in confidence. And this will be the name he will be called, the Lord, our integrity. So then the days are coming, it is the Lord who speaks. When people will no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought the sons of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives, who led back and brought home the descendants of the house of Israel, out of the land of the north and from all countries to which he had dispersed them to live on their own soil. From Psalms chapter 72. O God, give your judgment to the king, your justice to the king's son, that he may govern your people with justice, your oppressed with right judgment. For he rescues the poor when they cry out, the oppressed when they have no one to help. He shows pity to the needy and the poor, and saves the lives of the poor. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wonderful deeds. Blessed be his glorious name forever. May he fill all the earth with his glory. Amen and amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Ruler of the house of Israel, who gave the law to Moses on Sinai, come and save us with outstretched arm. Alleluia. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1. How Jesus Christ came to be born. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a man of honor and wanting to spare her from publicity, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. Now all this took place to fulfill the words spoken by the Lord through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. He took his wife to his home. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ.